Michael Green, the president, CEO of Artist Tribe and MyMuse, is most widely known for his tenure as head of the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences NARIS, a role he held from 1988 to 2002. Topic Early years Green earned his BBA in business from West Georgia College. The son of a big band leader, Green began his career as a recording artist, songwriter and producer with Warner Brothers, Mercury Records, and General Recording Corporation. Green built Apogee Sound Studio and Crawford Sound Studio, as well as publishing companies while working with artists such as Ray Charles, James Brown, Keith Jarrett, Lionel Richie, Sarah Vaughan, Kenny Loggins, Sammy Hagar, Kansas, and many more. Green founded the Cable Marketing Group Limited and Total Entertainment and Media Productions, Inc. These were two of the country's first cable consulting, production and ad placement companies. In 1981, Green built the Video Music Channel into one of the world's first cable video music networks. VMC was a national pioneer in multi-genre video music programming and live event production, with over 4 million subscribers. Next, VMC added traditional VHF and UHF television stations into its network, and Green was named VP, GM of the network's flagship station, WVEU, UHF, in Atlanta, Georgia. During this same period, Green served as Senior Vice President of Universal Video Corporation in Indianapolis, Indiana producing 16 hours of original programming daily for the first direct broadcast satellite service, USCI. The Prudential and General Instruments Venture Next, Green helped build Crawford Post Production, Satellite Services, Communications and Interactive Services Companies, in Atlanta. While Green was Executive VP, Crawford became one of the nation's largest media production companies serving clients such as Coca-Cola, IBM, Turner Broadcasting, the United States Department of Defense, and Tribune Broadcasting among thousands of others. Green was president of Crawford Green, Inc. Crawford is still a leader in these fields. Green served as a consultant to the Ministry of Culture of the People's Republic of China. Topic career at NARIS In 1986-87, Green was elected as chairman of National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences NARIS, made famous for its Grammy Award. In 1988, Green was named the Academy's first president, CEO and served as CEO for 14 years. Green led the growth of membership from 3,200 to over 27,000, built 12 regional offices, and launched the Latin Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences. During his presidency, Academy revenue increased by 30 fold. Under Green's leadership, the Grammy Awards ceremony grew from being syndicated in 14 countries to over 180. Green also established the Academy's political advocacy initiatives. Norris emerged as a voice for music and the arts in Washington, D.C. and the state houses on issues such as intellectual property rights and copyright infringement, First Amendment protection, music and arts education, preservation of funding for the national arts agencies, digital music distribution and artist rights archiving, and preservation of the world's musical legacy under Green's Academy leadership. 
Ship, Naris developed. In 1999, two Los Angeles Times reporters received the Pulitzer Prize for Beat reporting for their stories on corruption in the entertainment industry, including a charity sham sponsored by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences after 14 years. In April 2002, Naris and Green parted ways. Green stayed on as a consultant for one year to assist in the transition. Topic the Grammy Foundation During Green's tenure, the Academy produced hundreds of educational events across the nation and the world. Green founded and was president of two 501c3 foundations while presiding over the Academy. The Grammy Foundation spent over $4 million annually to provide grants and educational programs reaching over 2 million people. Their work in Congress helped launch the National Recording Registry designed to preserve historically significant recordings, the National Coalition for Music Education, and coalitions to save the National Endowment for the Arts, National Endowment for the Humanities, PBS, and NPR. Topic. Music Hairs In 1990, Green founded Music Hairs to provide financial grants, substance abuse intervention, treatment and educational programs to music professionals in need worldwide. Music Hairs has distributed well over $20 million since its inception. Green was also the national spokesperson for the National Association of Music Therapists, now known as the American Music Therapy Association. Topic Artist Tribe Green founded Artist Tribe, LLC in 2005 and currently serves as its president and CEO. Artist Tribe is an innovation enterprise which houses seven operating divisions serving the creative and cultural communities at large. The Artist Tribe Foundation is involved in the field of arts mentoring, education, arts and wellness, and produces culturally significant documentaries. The most recent is Girls in the Band. Topic. Ceramics Green is a ceramicist and instructor, with works in the permanent collection of the High Museum of Art. Topic. Accolades Green was inducted into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame, receiving a Georgie Award for his contributions to music. Green received a special doctorate in music from the University of Southern California and an honorary doctorate in music and arts education from Berklee College of Music in Boston. <laughs> 